Hello and happy Sunday. It's Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, January the 12th. And this is another live chat. This is chat number 156 and it's titled Smart Points 101. Facebook, I really need you to come through for me today and show the comments because we're going to have lots of things to talk about. I have a feeling um, when we get to part two, when we get to the um, extra credit portion. So I'm really hoping that Facebook's going to come through for me and let us see the comments. Yes! Yes, we can see comments. Woohoo! Yeah, hey Casey. Hello Casey. Hi, I can see Carol Lou is there. I can see Joyce is there. Yes, hello Carol Lou. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Facebook is going to let us see the um, see the comments and that is so cool because I think we're going to have lots of questions in part two, I think. Hello Marlene. Um, so hi everybody. Today is Sunday, January the 12th. There are, um, what are these called? Playoff games? Are these playoff games? Is that what's on tonight? Okay, so we're getting ready to go into halftime into the second game for tonight. So hopefully y'all can watch for at least the first 30 minutes if you're watching the football game. Hello, Barbara. Um, we've got lots to talk about tonight. Um, got some more great stuff coming up and we have some exciting news about the If You Have an Egg um, website. So I hope y'all will stay tuned for that. That'll be in part two. Hello, Sherry from sunny Connecticut. Finally sunny. I know we had terrible storms here yesterday, so so glad you have sun. Hello, Gina. Hello, Lynn. Hi, Linda. Hello, Mary Ann from Pennsylvania. Hello, yes, hello, Lynn. Sorry, I, I jumped the gun and said hi before you even said hi. If you are watching this live with us tonight, hi and hello, and we would love to say hi to you. Um, if you are brand new with us, please let us know, and we would love to welcome you. Hello, Audrey. We would love to welcome you, and if you are watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. If you don't want to see all the high hellos, feel free to go ahead and grab that scroll bar and go on over to about 10 minutes because that's when it kind of dies down because we're not going to stop greeting each other, right? Okay, hello, Sandra. Hello, Sarah. Or sorry, Sandra from Demon's Ferry. Hello, Sandra or Sarah. Hi, Kim. Hello, Rosie. Oh, my Christy has snuck in here. Hello, Michelle. And Jessica has snuck in. So I don't know if Jessica is going to say anything or not. Hi, Jackie from New Orleans. Um, she will be here to assist us with part two. So she's going to have to sit through part one. Sorry, Jessica. You can go back to doing something else. You can keep fiddling with things, making things pretty, whatever you want to do. Yeah, because you have to sit through part one. We're not going to talk about what you're interested in until part two. Hello, Peggy. And yes, hello, my Christy. So I hope everybody had a great week. Hello, Rita. You all had some interesting things for your homework. We're going to talk about those in just a few minutes. Hello, Kathy. Um, if you're watching, the, oh, wait, we have a new person. Hello, Letitia. Letitia is new, and she is joining us tonight from California. So everybody tell Letitia hello. It is L-E-T-I-C-I-A. So everybody welcome her. Hello, Joyce from Ann Arbor. Hi, Trish from California. So I don't know if any of you all had the bad weather yesterday hoping you didn't. It took the sign that we have um, out in front of the kitchen center. It took it, turned it around and like turned it upside down basically. It's back to where it's supposed to be. Luckily no one was injured. But anyway, hello Nancy from Ohio. Hi Jenny and Jenny's new and it's J-E-N-N-I. But Jenny's new. She's from Wisconsin. So everybody welcome her. Hello Robin. Oh good and I see you all welcoming each other. Awesome. Aloha Kathy. So it is Sunday, January the 12th. And yes, Sandra, we'll talk about my nails in just a second. Um, but it's Sunday, January the 12th. If you are watching this live um, here on Facebook, again, hey and hello. If you're watching it later on YouTube, still like to say hi and hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, and hello, Sylvia. Hello, Myra. So this is chat number 156, and it is titled Smart Points 101. I see some people sneaking on that are from here in Knoxville. I see some Knox girls sneaking on. Hey, y'all. Yep. Yep, Scar and Scarlett just said, hey y'all. Yep, hi, Carrie from Niagara Falls. Okay, which side of Niagara Falls? Are you on the US side or are you on the Canada side? Inquiring minds want to know. And Vicki says it was bad in St. Louis. Yeah, I know, it was terrible last night. It was absolutely terrible. Hello, Melissa. Yeah, oh, Teresa said, had no electricity. Oh no, she couldn't go to her workshop because they didn't have any electricity. That stinks. Hello, Sandra. Yep, and Letitia is so glad she found us. Hello, Kim. Kim says hi to all the new people. Yep. Uh oh, good. You see, y'all are making some friends here. Hello, Barbara or Brenda. Hello, Brenda. See, uh, Robin's already wondering where in Ohio. So y'all are making some friends. Good job. Good job. Because you need accountability buddies. Hello, Connie. Hi, Karen. Uh oh, Lynn said they had a tornado about two miles from her Friday night. No, I hate tornadoes. I hate tornadoes. I've been near like three of them. And that is terrible, terrible, terrible. Hello, Kathy from Iowa. Audrey says the power was out for 22 hours. And they were, oh, they were lucky they had just finished supper. That is true. Hello, Lietta. I will see you tomorrow. Yes. Yes, I am sure I will, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Carrie. Oh, Carrie's, oh, Carrie's on the U.S. side. Awesome. That is awesome. Hello, Karen. 
Oh, good. Okay. And hello, Betty. Okay. So let's start talking because we have a lot to talk about tonight. First of all, these nails. Oh my gosh. Hello, Evie. I think these might be some of my favorite ones. These are called um, Best of Both Swirls. Um, hello. Are those not cool? Look at those. Those are so awesome. And in case y'all didn't know, um, Casey is my daughter. She, oh, Lita, you won't be there tomorrow? What? How am I supposed to, how am I supposed to go visit Nana without you? Anyway, okay, fine. But anyway, so Casey is my stylist. She is my daughter. She is one of our graphic designers. Um, she does some, I know, Casey says, best of both swirls, so lovely. Um, she does a lot of our, she does all of our Bravo stickers and she does a lot of our behind the scenes things. And, hello, Andrea. And she is my Color Street um, stylist. So one of the things that we're gonna see here in a little while is to show you how to find the nails. So yeah, so, and Casey has put her, she has put her link down there. Hello, Sherry, but I'll show you how to get to that super fast um, here in just a few minutes. But again, today is Sunday, January the 20, or January 21st, 12th. Let's not try to jump too far ahead in the week. Let's not try to go too far ahead in the week. So we have had a great week here. Can't wait to get to the part two. Like, so want to get to part two that I'm have I'm struggling to go ahead and do the first part of this, the classroom portion of it. But we will do the classroom portion. So, hello Joyce and hello Sandy. Okay, so first of all, it is January the 12th. This is chat number 156 and it is Smart Points 101. So, oh no! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have a little private conversation here with Lietta. So, Lietta is like... I have to have Lietta on Mondays when I go to see Nana, but she's supposed to be off tomorrow. She works where my mother lives, but she's supposed to be off tomorrow, but apparently she might have strep. Lietta, what are we supposed to do without you? Anyway, you know no one else is as good at your job as you are. No one, like no one. Okay, and hello, Lisa. First of all, did everybody who attended, who attended your physical workshops, I'm not asking you who attended physical workshops yet, but did everybody get their charm? So if you attend a physical workshop, I'm not sure if you can get these if you are um, if you are um, digital only. Hello, Sylvia. But those of you who attend workshops, it was time we got our new year, new non-scale victory charms, and they are super cute. They have started putting colors in them, and I thought it was a really good idea. Hello, Susan. So those are super cute. Do not know what the next challenge is going to be, but those are for um, for when you attend a certain number of meetings, um, you know, out of, hello, Sherry. It's, oh, hello, Cheddar. Hey, just saw that that was you. Um, but those are super cute. So I have, I'll have to get my charms out and show them for you all um, sometime because they are so cute. So Lynn, if your group is supposed to have the charms, I know they were running a little bit late. Like we were supposed to have had them like two weeks ago and we just got them. We just got them this last week. So anyway, so those were the charms for, um, that we got for doing the new year, new non-victory um, challenge. So it looks like several of you all got those. But speaking of last week, who sat their bottom in a chair last week? So give me a thumbs up. If you sat your bottom in a chair last week, and yes, thank you, Leah, we don't want to be sick either, but if, give me a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a chair last week and attended a physical workshop. And if you're watching this with us live, there's a little button down at the bottom that you can just push that's a, a thumbs up. And if you are digital only or online only, or if you did, if you attended both, if you attended with us here last week, or if you did both, let's see some hearts. And if you were live, you can still do that. It looks like Sandra did both. Um, Carol Lou is online only, that's okay. Trish did both. Lynn did both. I'm seeing lots and lots and lots of thumbs up hearts, thumbs up hearts. Sylvia did both. Y'all are awesome. Read us at her bottom in a chair. Oh, Sherry attended. Just look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you're here with us live, can you see all these thumbs ups and hearts going by? That is awesome. That is so awesome. And Lisa says, were those the New Year charms? Yes, they were. So you had to attend so many meetings out of, I think it was uh, November and December, and maybe a little bit into January. No, it was November and December. It was like six out of eight meetings, and if you attended them, then you got this little charm. So I was super happy to get mine last week. Hello, Bernice from Northeast Texas, and she got her charm. Hello, Orlando Debbie. Oh, yeah, I know, Tracy, you didn't get any because no electricity. Sorry. That's okay. You can still count it. You can still count it as both. So Bravo stickers, and we'll talk about Bravo stickers here in a little bit, but Bravo stickers to everyone who attended. Hello, Loretta. So Bravo stickers for everyone who attended, and... Um, last week, we're going to talk about your all's homework in a few in a few minutes. Hello, Susie. We'll talk about your homework in just a few minutes because I had three that were especially good that I pulled out um, from the homework stack to share with you all. But last week, we talked about, um, hello, Marcia. Let's see. 
Oh, and Lisa says, yes, the Jonesboro, Arkansas group up there is awesome. Very good. And Stephanie's online only, but loves this group. I know. I wish I could hand you all charms, but alas, I cannot yet. Um, so last week, last week we were talking about New Year's resolutions, or we were talking about our guide to resetting them, like how to set a good New Year's resolution. So, you know, we took some time. WW wanted us to take some time to think you know, to kind of think and reflect, you know, and just, and just to rethink how we did, um, you know, how we were going to do our New Year's resolutions. And that's because a lot of us, me included, a lot of us set New Year's resolutions that are so high, they're unattainable, they're unrealistic, um, they're over the top, there's no way that you could get them all done. Um, you know what I mean? You know, and there are, you know, a lot of us set ones that are going to, you know, we're just going to kind of, oh yeah, go gung ho, you know, for a week or two. And then just kind of fritter away. So they wanted us to rethink them so that we can make them, you know, realistic, attainable, time defined. You know, you need to be able to put a time on there and also for success. So instead of saying like, you know, um, I'm going to track, you know, every single day, you know, maybe you chose to track one day this week or, um, you know, to make it realistic, you know, maybe you made it a shorter amount of time, you know, like Karen and I have been, um, see like Loretta says, I can't do the 10,000 steps. That's fine. You don't have to do 10,000 steps. I'm going to tell you one here in just a second that's going to make you really, really happy. It's going to, it's a perfect example and it's going to make you really, really happy. But like for Karen and I, we had been walking faithfully for years. For years, we have been walking um, twice a day, six days a week. Twice a day, six days a week. Um, and life has just gotten in the way. She's got kids that are overseas. She's got one that's come back home. She's got one that's in the Navy now. I've had sick parents. We have, you know, we have just been, I mean, life is just upside down right now. So we both decided that our goal was going to be, instead of trying, instead of saying, oh my gosh, we have to get back to six days a week, twice a day. That wasn't going to happen. That was not going to happen. So we both decided that our goal was going to be our first New Year's goal for this first week that we did it was going to be to walk three mornings. And as of tomorrow morning, we will have hit our three mornings. And that, so that's all we're going to do. We're not going to try and do, you know, we're, we fit in to walk today. As a matter of fact, today's the first day that I got, let's see, I got 12,571 steps today. That's the first time in a long time that I've gotten that many steps. And y'all know I was up to like 14, 15,000 a day. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. So that is our goal now. Three of the ones that I wanted to read you from last week that were perfect, that were perfect. So if you're not up to 10,000 steps, you don't have to be. So there's no 10,000, there's no magic number about 10,000. If right now, if you were walking 1,000 steps, try walking 1,500. If you're walking zero, if you're walking zero steps and you just want to, you just want your goal to be to get in some exercise, do what Sherry did. So instead of saying, I have to get in, I have to get in 10,000 steps a day this year or I'm a failure. Hello, Irma. So instead of just, you know, throwing in the towel, if she doesn't get 10,000 steps, Sherry strapped her Fitbit back on. So she went ahead and got her Fitbit back out. She put her big girl pants on, you know, put her Fitbit back on. And she decided that a 1,000 a day step challenge, that that was going to be, that would be enough for her right now. And you know what? That is a thousand steps more than what she was doing. So she's going to do a thousand steps a day and it is her starting goal. And she celebrated her 66th birthday. So for you 30, 50 and us 60 or, you know, you 30, 40 and us 50 year olds out there, you know, who think, oh, you know, I just can't do it. I can't do it. She celebrated her, hello, Shirley Ann. She celebrated her 66th birthday and started on her 1000 steps a day goal. That is perfect. That is a perfect starting point. It's doable. It's manageable. She can record it. She's going to, she's, she's killing it. She's going to make it. Andrea, after listening to the chat last week, was, um, she was, uh, she decided that she, her goal of more water, her goal of just more water, you know, wasn't, you know, it wasn't measurable, you know, like measurable, like more, how much is more, how much is more water? So instead, what she decided to do is she made it very specific. And if you all haven't seen the mug that she made or kind of like the, the water bottle that she made, and it's over in our closed group. So if you want to go over to our closed group, somebody, I'm sure will share the link here or I will share it when we get done. But if you go over there, you have to answer the three questions so that I know that you're an actual human. Um, but yay, and Angie, Thank you. I just saw you just saw you peep in. Um, 
And uh, and Angie's exactly right. She says you need to look at it as you have as you ha not like you have to, not like you have to do this, but you get to do it. So yeah, so she's healthy enough to do that. She's healthy enough to be able to walk a thousand steps, you know, a day. So, but Andrea's water, her water jug, her water bottle is so cute. So she went through and so instead of just saying more water, because what does more water mean? You know, she can't measure that. You can't see how you're doing. So she took and you know. And yes, Angie said, hi, Barbie. Hello. And she took her water bottle and she marked it. So she marked it at like um, four ounces, six ounces, eight ounces. You know, she marked, and thank you, Claudie, for sharing the link to the closed group. Um, but she marked it all the way down and it had some motivational messages with it, you know, like keep going, chug, you know, halfway there. So it is super cute. She's got these marked on the, on the water bottle so that she can see, you know, um, and, and she set the alarm, I think on her phone, so that she could see, you know, when it was time to drink, you know, so she set a time when it was time to drink, measurable, obviously, because she's got it marked off on her water bottle, you know, and she can see when she's done. So she can see where she started and she can see where she's done. Perfect. She nailed it. Andrea absolutely nailed it this week. And then Sandy, I think this was very clever, Sandy. Sandy decided that not only would she track on her phone, which is great, it's awesome to track on her phone, but she also went back to keeping a written journal. I don't know about you all, how many of you all, I know I'm like this and Casey's like this too, how many of you all just have to put pen to paper? Things are things are more solid and they make more sense if you actually take a pen in your hand and write it on some paper. So I love, I love technology and I love, um, I love doing, oh, Andrea said it's work. She's had 74 ounces of water every day this week. Yay, extra Bravo stickers. Um, and yeah, Casey just said, I have like four journals going right now. I know there's so many of us though that we just I don't know I just like a pen and writing on some paper I love technology I love being able to scan you know I love being able to scan food with my phone um, I just loved being able to do that but Sandy I thought that was you know I thought that was a great idea of Sandy to actually write it down because I don't know there's something about writing it on a piece of paper that makes it real that just makes it real but anyway bravo to these ladies they nailed it this week they absolutely nailed it this week so everybody who did your homework these three ladies and everyone else who did your homework this week extra bravo stickers extras and I'll show you how to get those here in just a little bit okay then this week we're talking about smart points 101 so this is chat number 156 and it is smart points 101 we're only we just finished the second week of the new decade it wasn't even the second full week so we're we're just really getting into the new the new year and the new decade and it's for a lot of us the holidays are not such a shadow <laughs> you know and you know people are saying oh the holidays are over you know they're way in the past you know you know they're in your rearview mirror hello jerry you know people are like you know oh they're so far in the past okay i'm sorry they're not so much of a shadow actually they're still a, sh a little bit of a shadow you know on my life we're still you know cleaning up the last little dribs and drabs of things you know from the holidays we are just trying to get things you know put back together where they're supposed to be um, we still have Christmas up in the showroom. I did go ahead and get some. Um, I did go ahead and get some Valentine's Day stuff um, today, just so that we could. So maybe I could have an attempt to get Christmas down, you know, in the showroom. But since it is not in the past, past, and actually, Susie says I see that paperclip. It's a. I've traded it. I traded it for a bobby pin. Mm hmm. Because I had the bobby pin in my hair earlier, so the paperclip tonight is a bobby pin. Anyway, so that's ten push-ups. That's ten push-ups, Susie. Just kidding. But anyway, so it's not such, you know, a distant memory, you know, for a lot of us. So WW is really encouraging us this week to, um, you know, to, um, sorry, I lost my, tr I lost my track. So that's like 10 sit-ups. Yeah. So you have to do some more exercises. And if y'all didn't see that chat, you need to go back and find it because it was hilarious. But anyway, so yeah, so it's not such a shadow force. And this week, WW is wanting to remind us to familiarize ourselves with some of our, um, um, you know, with some of our basics. So, you know, smart points 101. So if you are brand new, you know, like if this is your first week, if you haven't gone to your first weigh-in yet, um, you know, you're just getting started, or if you're like me and you've been doing this a quarter of a decade, there's nothing wrong with going back to the basics, you know, and just checking off a few things to say, oh yeah, hmm, that's what, you know, I, I knew to do that, but you know, just kind of have to have a refresher. So WW has, they have three things listed and y'all know how I lock things in three. So thank y'all, thank you, thank you WW for doing that. But they say one, pre-tracking, two, be mindful of portions, and three, make savvy swaps. And um, 
let's see. Oh, and Karen says, I just signed back up to do the digital, did WW last year, and our workshop closed. What? What? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. And, okay, so a lot of y'all, okay, so a lot of y'all are doing great things. So let's keep going. I say on those three, know before you go. So instead of try pre-tracking, I'm calling it know before you go. So pre-tracking has, has saved my honey on more than one occasion. So going ahead and pre-tracking it, you know, putting it in my phone, writing it down in that, you know, in that paper journal, it has, it has, it has saved my honey, you know, more than one time. And I will tell you, even just looking it up before you put it in your mouth has kept me from eating a lot of things. So I can't tell you how many times I've had something near my mouth and thought, eh, eh, mm, eh, maybe I better just check. And I go and look on my phone and go, oh, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. And either chuck it, throw it away, give it to somebody else, split it with somebody, you know, whatever. Um, I think one of the things we talked about in our physical meeting last week was, I don't know, there's some kind of, there's some piece of cheesecake at Cheesecake Factory that's like 67 points for one piece of cheesecake. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I do really like cheesecake, but there's nothing not cheesecake anyway for me that is worth 67 points so had i been sharing it with somebody and then look it up later oh that just would have been a disaster but pre looking it up knowing before um knowing before you know before you put it in your mouth you know that makes a lot of difference a lot of difference and um hello divine so but yeah i know that makes a lot of difference and sometimes looking it up makes all the difference in the world in what I'm going to choose. Like I have been to restaurants before where I thought, okay, um, I will an accountability and Karen and I were talking about this today about salads, about places that have salads and how few have a lighter dressing now. Um, and she was served, she went to a restaurant this week and got the light, got the lightened up vegetable plate. And it had, so it had like carrots and I don't remember what other vegetables it had with it, but they gave her slaw. There's nothing, there's nothing about slaw unless you just put the cabbage in a bowl. There's nothing about slaw that's lightened up. So she was smart. You know, she tried to squeeze part of it off. She tried to drain part of it out. She took like two bites and went and just forget it. Mm -mm, no. And she knows for next time that she is going to order it, you know, in a different, she's going to order the different version of it that doesn't have that. Because she could have had almost a loaded baked potato for what that slaw was. But anyway, so looking it up. So pre-tracking or looking it up. So know before you go. So even if you're at home, know before you go or know, at least know before you put it in your mouth how much it's going to be. So you know whether or not you want to spend that food money you know, before you put it in your mouth. The second thing is they say, be mindful of portions. I say the tools are in your hands. You know, how many times, how many chats have we talked about using your hands, using the hands, using the things that are attached to the end of your wrist, using those to estimate portions. So, oh, and Barbie got two air fryers for herself for Christmas. That's craziness. But anyway, um, but using your hands, you know, so, you know, being mindful of portions. So I think it's extremely important to know, you know, and, and even if, you know, if you don't have something with you to measure it, you have your hands, you know, you know, like this, you're the palm of your hand or a deck of cards, you know, is about three ounces of meat. Um, you can do a teaspoon, a tablespoon, you can do approximately a cup, you can do approximately a cup, you know, there's so many things that you can use your, um, um, that you can, you know, that you can use your hands for to estimate, you know, or things around the house. But to know, are you getting ready to eat a serving or are you getting ready to eat a portion? And that was a couple of chats ago and I'll try to go back and figure out which chat number that is um, before, we, before we actually publish this so that you can go back and reference that one. But remember, we talked in detail one week about the difference between a serving size. So a serving size of something might be two smart points, for example, but the portion, the amount that you choose to eat could be four, five, six, you know, so you need to make sure that's a serving, a serving versus a portion. And then the third thing was, <clears throat> they said, make savvy swaps. I said, hashtag bulk it up. So to me, making a savvy swap is hashtag bulking it up. So perfect example, perfect example. I saw on Instagram today, and I'm probably gonna pick the wrong person, but I'm pretty sure it was Pound Dropper. She had, and if it wasn't you, I am so sorry, um, but she had taken um, a lightened up carbonara recipe, 
the re- how she lightened it up though is she had her re- her serving of noodles. I think it was like angel hair pasta, but she had over a cup of zoodles in with it. So it's like spaghetti and zoodles, and you had to zoom in on the picture to be even be able to tell that it wasn't all pasta. So she had probably, oh, if I had to guess, probably tripled, if not quadrupled, the size of the meal that she was getting ready to have, but she didn't add any points to it. She added zero points to it because she used zoodle. She used zucchini, spiral, spiralized zucchini to bulk it up. So whenever you can, make a smart swap. So swap out. I'm going to show you an example here. So one thing that you could swap out, and it doesn't just have to be vegetables. One thing that you could swap out this is five junior mints so they are tiny they are very small i'm holding them up close so it's making them look bigger than they are here i'll hold them back here okay this is five junior mints five junior mints is three smart points okay five junior mints or you can make junior mints hot cocoa and you can find this, we'll, I'll show you how to find this in a few minutes, but you are gonna be able to click on the link to find this because everybody always asks me where to get it from. Um, but Or you can have a Junior Mint's hot cocoa that will fill up this entire cup. So it fills up this entire cup. And it takes me a long time to drink this because it's hot. So you can't, you know, like five Junior Mint's, this, I could just go pop it in my mouth. They'd be gone in two seconds and that would be three smart points. I mean, and they would be gone in two seconds. But instead, I buy Junior Mint's hot cocoa, and it will make it will make this entire cup of hot cocoa also for three smart points. So I think that's a smart swap. That's a swap that I do. And see, now I have to get rid of the Junior Mint's because now I have a little box of Junior Mint's. But anyway, so I, that's a smart swap for me. Instead of popping five Junior Mint's in my mouth and then literally being gone in two seconds. This will take me at least 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes, and actually fill me up a little bit more, um, but that's a smart swap. So, speaking of smart swaps, you can, it, I mean, if you make smart swaps, it will, I think it will satisfy you more because your tummy's gonna be fuller. Um, it's gonna look better, you know, in your plate or in your bowl. I'm sorry I eat with my eyes and I need to see things that are, you know, that are bigger. Um, you know, that makes me happier um, and it's gonna make a prettier presentation, fuller tummies, you're gonna be more satisfied. So I think make, I think that's an, a very good Smart Point 101. You know, going back to your basics um, is the hashtag bulk it up, you know, or the savvy swaps. So. Your homework for this week is to make one smart swap. So I want you to um, find something like that, like the Junior Mint Talk Cocoa versus the Junior Mints, or like Kimberly, Kimberly's talking about a taco bake from Drizzle Me Skinny, and she adds more than the recipe calls for with the peppers, probably twice as much. So see, Kimberly's already done her homework. So bravo sticker, Kimberly, bravo. And Loretta had that for supper. She had zucchini noodles and rubbed garlic paste and Italian herb paste and sauteed it, woohoo, and a little extra virgin olive oil. So Loretta, you've already got your, you already have your bravo sticker. One more person, Andrea says she went out to lunch last Monday and got the salmon dinner with a salad and asparagus. Oh no, that was not for bravo sticker. She looked at the points after, and I can't read the rest of it, but there's a, oh, face next to it. So no, we won't be counting that one. That's not a hashtag bulk it up. But anyway, oh, and Carol Lou made cauliflower tots last night. So perfect. That'll be my third one. So if I figure out something, figure out what your smart swap is going to be. Want you to, if you're going to tag me on Instagram, because I want you to tag me in them so I can give you your Bravo stickers. Um, but I want you, if you tag me on Instagram, it's at if you have an egg at if you have an egg yep and tedders likes to use spaghetti squash instead of pasta me too me too if it's on here on the facebook page again it's just at if you have an egg if it's in the facebook group it's at kelly green milligan m-i-l-l-i-g-a-n not mulligan i still find them most of the time but milligan or if it's on ww connect it is at scrap and stamp two s-c-r-a-p N S T A M P and the number two um, or if you're commenting on youtube or um, anywhere else just tell me, or on the blog, just go ahead and tell me. So that is your homework for this week. You get extra Bravo stickers if you did your homework. Um, I'll find three, my three favorite ones, and we'll talk about them again next week. So we have one minute for me to get some water. And I'm already, because I've been talking so fast, so excited to get to this second part. So excited, yeah. And Melissa says, air fry the spaghetti squash to shred. I don't know if you're, if that's supposed to be a question mark or it's supposed to be an exclamation point, but yes, yes, 
air fry it hello stacy air fry the spaghetti squash and then shred it and we do have a chat for that so we do have a chat for that okay so i'm going to take a quick break and then we'll be back for the second portion which will be our extra credit portion so i will be right back just a second and barbara wherever you're at yes barbara it's time for some water and i'm going to drink my water while i'm reading what you all are doing Sandra Bulk spaghetti squash with healthy turkey chili. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Okay. And we are back. So this is the second part of chat number 156 that was titled Smart Points 101. And if you were just now joining us or if you were watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. Um, this is the second part. So you missed all the high hellos. Congratulations. You were in the second part. Casey, I know, and Kathy said the first 30 minutes went so fast. You should be on my side. Like I'm winded. I don't know if you can tell this or tell it or not, but I'm winded. And Casey said, Casey said, Jessica, it's our time to shine. And Jessica says, it's, I'm so excited or so excited. Okay. Here's what they are so excited about. So I'm going to flip you all around here in just a second. First, let me say, first, 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 let me say, Thank you, thank you, thank you to Jessica and Casey for all of your hard work that has not ended. Just phase one has ended. Second, let me say that we will pick up, let me check the dates on this, we will pick back up on our six decades of WW. We will pick that back up next week. So on January, today's January the 12th, on January the 19th, we are gonna um, finish our series, our three-part series, on um, Weight Watchers Through the Decades. Then on the 26th, we're gonna talk about Super Bowl um, food, everything Super Bowl food, because the Super Bowl is February the 2nd. Am I right? Yes. Yes, the Super Bowl is February the 2nd. So we're gonna finish, we'll finish up our three-part Weight Watchers series on the 19th. We'll do Super Bowl foods on the 26th. Then the Super Bowl is on the 2nd. So we're not waiting until the 2nd to do our Super Bowl foods, because that's gonna be a lot of food. Okay. So this is the part that we're so excited about. This is the reason that we have interrupted your regularly scheduled WW meeting and not doing with the part three that we were gonna do. So this is what Casey and Jessica are so excited about. They have worked super hard on this. Um, I have chosen, instead of going back and updating all of our old recipes yet, I'm not saying I won't do it, but instead of spending this first you know, couple of weeks of the year going backwards and updating old recipes um, to the new um, WW My Way and getting our blue, green, and purple, getting all that updated, instead, this is what we've been working on. So if you think that I have been quiet lately, this is why I have been quiet. So, drum roll, duh, ta-da! So this is what Jessica and Casey have been spending all of their time on. This is the new, if you have an egg site, and I'm sorry, I'm in the editing mode. I know Jessica's going to kill me for being in the editing mode while I'm showing this to you all, but I don't know how to get out of editing mode, so I'm in it. So here is our cool new retro logo that Jessica has been working on for us. Um, she's so funny. The first one that she put out, uh, Casey and I loved it, and I think she thought we were just being nice, but we loved it. So we love this retro look. We love the cute little eggs. This is the website. The app is dead. So Melissa wants to know if this is the website or the app. The app is dead. It is gone. So there is there is no resurrecting it. It was going to cost thousands of dollars to resurrect the app. And I'm sorry, ladies. I love you all, but I don't have thousands of dollars to resurrect the app. So instead, um, Jessica and Casey have been hard at work on this. So this is the website. So this is the If You Have an Egg website, these cute little chibi, and I don't know if chibi is even the right word, but I love the little eggs. But so this is our new look. Phase one is completed. So it, when you all go to the blog, it's just www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. When you go there, this is the new look, whatever the newest, um, whatever the newest recipe is or blog post or whatever we're talking about this week is will be the first thing. And then she has, um, she has reformatted it. And I'm sorry, I can't get back far enough for y'all to see everything, but she's reformatted it so that it's easier to find. You can go, you know, you can scroll down through more, find what you want to read and then click on read more if you want to read more about it instead of um instead of going you know scrolling through these really 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 long 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 posts also once you get into the recipe um once you have actually gone to the recipe 
which come on computer okay once you have gone to the recipe we have also changed it so that you can go to to an actual recipe so here's the actual recipe and you can print it so this is what it's going to look like when you print um, we are working hard on making them in a format where when you click on them that you can just print them out because I know a lot of you all like the same people who like to do the you know pencil on paper <laughs> some my pencil and paper people um, also like to be able to print out the recipes and so you can print these out and you can put them in your notebook you can um, you know just you can store them however you want to so you can go ahead and print those out so that is how that is how you get to a recipe and print it then we have um, and you can't see it too well and I can't scroll over there but over on the sidebar you can easily get to if you want to skip to whatever you know whatever our latest YouTube video is you know whatever the last one was if you um, if you don't get on YouTube very often and you think gosh you know I'm on the I'm on the blog but I want to watch the last video I wonder what it was the last YouTube the last you know chat that we have will always be in this spot so after probably tomorrow afternoon tomorrow night this will change to say workshop number 155 and you can go straight or 156 and you can go straight to it I did want to point out and I wish you could see over here on the side but I can't again back up far enough Um, the uh, simple living products has given us another um, discount so they are giving us 10% off again and the code at checkout is egg 10 e g g 10 so if you were um, oh yeah and Debbie says you can print it to Google or to a PDF I didn't even think about that that's that's a good point so anyway so you can get a discount on simple living products right now they were kind enough to give us another 10% um, in celebration of our um, of the new um, of the new format and you can check us out on Facebook that's where we're at right now that's the Facebook um, page if you want to see some more ideas you can go to Pinterest and I do share other people's ideas you know on my Pinterest page um, or you can follow us on Instagram okay so those are all social media things let me show you the super 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 cool things that um, that they have put together for us up here so we're on the home page right now if you go to the about page and it's super simple up here at the top now so I had way too much stuff at the top way too complicated I don't know why you all ever looked at that thing it was way too complicated she has so simplified it but you can go straight to the story behind the egg if you didn't know how all of this got started you can go here to that story and you can read it for yourself um, this also will have our last so if you're in the about section it will also have um, and thank you all for your compliments um, but you will go um, you can go see the last week's video and thank you Jessica for answering questions so as you all have questions go ahead and ask them because oh and hello Roberta I didn't see you pop in ask questions as you have them because Jessica and Casey Casey actually arm wrestled Alyssa and got her to go to bed um, got her to go to bed early so that they could be here to answer questions so please 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 ask them questions um they're not really on the clock but they're sort of they're emotionally on the clock so if y'all want to ask them questions that would be awesome and Casey's exactly right she said if you saw the dashboard originally you would understand how my mind works and yeah that's, she's that's the truth yeah it's exactly right so anyway so you know so here are some of the things that you can you know you can see on the about page you know a little bit about you know about how all this got started the recipes okay I know Jessica went through a lot of pain and anxiety trying to get me to narrow down the category so I had I don't remember Jessica how many 38 I think I had 38 different categories that you could go to for a recipe you know because that's it that is how my brain works because I thought oh the more categories we have the easier it'll be to find things yeah not not so much so now under recipes the categories are breakfast lunch dinner snacks and yes, Melissa, hold on. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, five ingredients or less. So how many days will this come in handy? 30 minutes or less, you know, because I don't have any more time than the rest of you all do to make these things. Vegetarian or meatless meals. So if you are like my um, accountability buddy Karen and I, oh, 93. Oh, great. I had 93 categories. And now we have one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hmm just a couple just a couple less than I had just a couple less and um, Sylvia wants to know if it's better on a computer or can we use our iPhone so I either one I have played with it on both of them just know that on an iPhone you have to know to click click on that three 
bar there's like three bars across that you have to click on um to you know to get all of these to pull down so maybe the first time maybe go on a computer just to see everything so anyway vegetarian or meatless um you know my accountability karen and i are not vegetarians we're not vegans but we do like to eat meatless occasionally um and her her and her husband have been trying really 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 hard um, they've been trying really hard to, you know, to eat some meatless meals. And so there's a whole category on its own, only one category, not 93 categories. If you just need an air fryer recipe, boom, go to an air fryer recipe. And then this one, we almost left off. So we almost left the scrambled ramblings off because um, they didn't make sense. But the fact that they didn't make sense is why it made sense to leave it on so scrambled ramblings will be those times when i just need to pop in and say something or i just need to show you something that i ate but it doesn't it's not really a recipe it doesn't deserve a blog post it doesn't you know it doesn't deserve a spot anywhere else so it is just a scrambled rambling in my scrambled brain and so that will, is where they will reside so this is actually going to free me up to be able to write more of these things to be able to you know make some more content for you all and to not be so crazy getting up at two and three o'clock in the morning you know trying to get all this stuff typed so okay so that is the recipes um i'm gonna click on uh one of them let's see let's just go to a let's go to an air fryer recipe and so once you go here, you can see, you'll be able to see all of the latest air fryer recipes. And so there was the, there were, there was the maple sausage sunnies. And that was the latest one that we posted. Again, you can print it. You can go just, you know, just like it was, go to the print, go to the print button. If you are doing this on your iPhone, um, so I think it's Sylvia that asked about the iPhone. If you're doing this on your iPhone, you still can click on print and it will bring it up. I know we have a, a wireless printer there in the showroom that I can click I can click on print or touch print you know from my phone and it will let me print it will let me print to that but see so you can go to the recipes just like you always could you can share them at the bottom of every single one um, is a place to share it on Facebook or Pinterest if you want to um, feel free to like them please feel free to com you know to comment um, so it's so there are the last few things you know that were done you know that were air fryer things and there's Miss Alyssa the two-year-old now and then if you keep, if you make it all the way to the bottom, if you keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and you think, oh my gosh, how could there possibly be any more? How could there possibly be any more? There's how to season your air fryer. You know, you just keep going and keep going, keep going, keep going. There's lots of air fryer, lots of air fryer, lots of air fryer things, you know, tons of air fryer things, things you can print out, things you can try. But then if you get all the way, if you make it all the way to the bottom of the page, then it has, oh, and there's the, the eggs we were talking about earlier. So if you make it all the way to the bottom of the page, more ways to share. Then if you haven't signed up, so if you have not um, already signed up, you can sign up here. You can join 13,367 of your closest friends and you would get notified every time that we have, you know, every time that we have a new recipe. So that is how you click on a recipe. And now you only have however many I've just read off. What did I say? Eight, one, two, breakfast, lunch, dinner, one, two, three snacks four desserts five five ingredients or less six seven eight nine ten so now you only have ten categories to choose from are there any categories that you think are left out and i do not have a pressure cooker i do not have an instant pot so if i ever get one i am sure that we will add that as a as a category under here okay then on over here on the right you can also um, subscribe. The very first time that you that you get onto the site, it'll uh, have a pop up that'll come up that'll tell you how to subscribe. Um, you can um, click down for some you know for some more great recipes. That's where all those 93 are over hiding over here now, and I think she's going to clean that up um, too. You can search. So if you wanted to search for an S for a recipe. I know, Angie. I don't. I'm not. I don't know. I don't have one. Um, and thank you, Teresa. Teresa says I'm looking at it, at it on my laptop now. And it looks fantastic. Thank you. And Chrissy says it looks amazing. Sandy says it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sylvia's excited. So if you want to search something, so like, okay, Robin Wegos. It's just well, let's let's just search for that. So Wegos. W e g g o s. So we're gonna search for Wegos. And it is thinking, and it's W-E-G-G-O-S. And yes, Wegos will be under breakfast. So if you search on them, then the first one that's going to pop up is the Wegos live chat that um, shows how to make them. 
Oh, and there's our Wego t-shirts, which we do still have. They're the Maple Sausage Sunnies because those those also have the word Wego in them since those were spawned from Wegos. Here are some Wego recipes. So you can either search on it or you can go to recipes and go to breakfast. Trish is having a hard time on her phone. So Trish, what's the hard time? Because Jessica, in case you're both here, if you have a quest, if you have a specific question, so what's the what's the hard time? Oh, and Sylvia had Wegos this morning. Oh, and Sandra just snuck in. So hopefully Sandra's doing okay. But um, so when you go to breakfast, you're gonna see those again. So you're gonna you know you're gonna find all those recipes again. Oh, and there's some yeah there's the Oh, somebody asked about those today. So there's the um, the oatmeal muffins. You can print that out. Anyway, so you can search on them or you are, um, hey Robin. So you are, um, you can either search on them or you can click on breakfast um, or you can start, you know, click on one of the categories or correct. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I get, I get what y'all are saying. You do not need to re-sign up again. No, if you are already getting emails, then if you are already getting emails um, with the new recipes, you do not need to re-sign up again. It's, you, you're, you'll still be on there. Okay, then the next section is videos. And I don't wanna take too much time because the shop is where y'all are gonna, oh yeah, it was Robin that asked about the, that's right. It was Robin that asked about the muffins today. That's that's right, Robin. So those are, those are there. And, Trish says, just trying or trying to find things. Okay, so Jessica or Casey, if y'all can help Trish with trying to find things on her phone, that would be that would be awesome. Um, videos, if you click on that, that will be all of our Facebook Live um, chat videos. So you can see right here that I stopped posting at number 144, and there are a whole lot of gaps in between. And we're on chat number what, 156? Is that what number today was? So this is one of the reasons that I have Jessica involved now. So Jessica is going to start taking the, um, Jessica is gonna start taking the chat. She's gonna take my notes from the chats and she is going to transcribe them and post them in such a way that you can easily find your homework and you'll know what to do with it so that we don't have big gaps like this again because I'm, it, it overwhelms me as much as I want to do it. It overwhelms me, and you can see that because I am 12 behind, and there are big gaps, you know, in between these. So Jessica's gonna, you know, she's gonna start doing that. She'll start keeping up with it um, and posting those. Casey edits all of the videos, and she gets those ready to go on YouTube. So she gets those put on on YouTube usually by Tuesday of the following of the chat, you know, following the chat. So like this week, today Sunday, she'll have she will have this one chat number 156. She'll have it on the she'll have it on youtube by tuesday but if you all are looking for them here on the blog so like if you don't go to youtube and you just you just want to go to the video and, or you want to see the transcription for it casey will get it up by tuesday jessica will also have the transcription up with the um your homework in a special format here as well and sandra is um so late because she's moving back to Nap or she's going to be moving back to naperville so they sandra and ken have had a crazy crazy last couple of weeks so y'all still keep keep those you know keep them in your prayers and Sandra, i'm just sandra i'm just excited that you're here okay so the moment that y'all have been waiting for under the shop i'm going to start at the bottom because i'm going to make you wait for the thing that you want for the very last so if you hover over shop the last item in shop when you all ask me where to get t-shirts like the t-shirt that i have on tonight they and those are for the kitchen center but when you all ask me where to find t-shirts they are here they are under our spread shirt account so you can go to spread shirt and i'm telling you these are the softest shirts these are the softest shirts that you've ever that you've ever worn they have tote bags they've got um coffee mugs everything else so here's one that says i'm her accountability buddy i've got a um, one that points the other direction that says she's my she's my accountability buddy and that points the other direction because I thought those would be cute to wear um, together. Um, then we have like tonight I have on the I was live for chat 100 um, t-shirt. Anyway, lots of lots and lots and lots of t-shirt t-shirts, coffee mugs, and um, all kinds of things like that. So when you all ask me where um, where you can you know where you can get the t-shirts, that's where you can get the t-shirts. So that is under that's under shop. Then next up under shop. Y'all ask me where to get um, the nails, like where I find my nails. So this is Casey's Color Street. So if you want nails like what I have on tonight, so my beautiful, 
best of both swirls and that is horrible <laughs> that you can't see those at all but anyway um mm, loretta i don't know what you're trying to download there's nothing to download loretta there's nothing to download it's literally just a website it's just the website um but anyway so casey is my color street stylist and this is where you can go to order your pretty nails like i get from her so you can go there and that so that's easy to find now so instead of sending you all over the planet trying to find the nails now you can just go to if you have an egg.com go to shop and then click on kelly's nail stylist and it'll take you straight to casey's um uh, color street page kelly's recommendations you have all the things that y'all asked me about so you all asked me about whoops hold on i'm gonna switch y'all back around to me for just a second Okay, so I'm switching y'all back around to me for just a second. So you all asked me about nutritional yeast. Where do I get it? I can't find it. I've searched every place in the store and I'm not gonna talk to the manager. Nutritional yeast. Y'all asked me about the Lily's chocolate chips all the time. You all ask me, and I love it when y'all ask me questions, but nutritional yeast, the Lily's chocolate chips, these, the bag sliders, and in case you haven't seen the bag sliders, you just fold over anything like this instead of using a Ziploc bag, take the slider, Put it underneath and slide it across. So y'all ask me about those all the time. You ask me where to get the things like the junior, where the the junior mint um, cocoa. So, but things like that. And Angie's saying, tell them about the brags. We have a chat for that, Angie. Okay, I'm gonna turn y'all back around again. So things like that. We are slowly but surely putting them in one easy place for y'all to find them. So you can, you are still more than welcome to ask me what air fryer I have. You are more than welcome to ask me, but here it is. So there is the air fryer. And don't forget, if you go do the air fryer, um, you know, use your egg tin discount, um, discount code. Here is the link for the sliders. Grits, y'all ask me about my cheese grits all the time. Here's the link for the cheese grits. Now these, all of these are um, gonna take you to Amazon or to someone else's um, or to someone else's um, um, what you see either to Amazon or to someone else's website some of these could be affiliate um, you know I just need to say and let's see what is it I'm supposed to say in the spirit of transparency I need you to know that I may earn a small commission off of some of these items if you click on them but honestly as much as I spend on this <laughs> that small commission is you know yeah very small okay but anyway so there's a the nutritional yeast and trust me if you like it you're gonna want a two-pack you're gonna want a two pack. 40 count hot cocoa sampler for the Keurig. Love it, love it, love it. Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Roll hot cocoa. We spent a lot of time talking about that last week. Um, love the Tootsie Roll um, at our um, meeting. Love the Tootsie Roll, Tootsie Roll hot cocoa. Bragg liquid aminos, you know, I use those in a lot of things. The, there's the Junior Mints we were talking about. This Swiss Miss reduced calorie um, hot cocoa for the Keurig. Um, somebody in our group just cuts the top off and puts it in her hot water because um, she doesn't have a Keurig, but these are only one point. That's the Swiss Miss reduced calorie version, but that's where you get those. Here's where you get the Lily's chocolate chips, air fryer, <coughs> the bag, sliders for the bag. These are the bomb. I use these for everything and the cheese grits. We are slowly but surely getting all of those put on there. Um, so check back frequently for more. And I had to get a sip of water. So sorry about that. Okay. So here's what everybody's been asking about, the piece de resistance. So we have been threatening to do this for quite a while. You all really, really, let me turn this back around again. Okay, so you all really, really, really need to give Casey a round of applause. She has, she's already done all of these just in like a little over a week. Um, and on top of this, she's working on three other things that I'll tell you about here in just a second. Um, but here, here's what we've been working on. So everybody, you know, I mean, I'm serious. Casey and Jessica have done an awesome job. All I have done, my only participation in this has been to, to be a major pain in their rear. Every time they go, okay, that's finished. I go, that looks great. Hmm. But can we move this over here? Or, hmm, could that be purple or pink or blue or yellow? Or, you know, or I, it's, I guess it's my job to move, to move stuff around. So I'm finally at that point in my life where I'm the person who gets to move the furniture when they get the furniture exactly where it should be. So, okay. So here's the most exciting part. Here we go. So under shop, we now have, woohoo! 
digital downloads. So we have six so far. So, so far, Casey has put up three, I'm sorry, two, no, yeah, three, three Bravo stickers and three team stickers. So the we have the Egg Lady Says So Bravo sticker that Casey created for us. We've got Go Team Purple Proud Egglets, Go Team Green Proud Egglet, Go Team Blue Proud Egglet, um, the Thumbs Up Bravo sticker, and the Certified Egg Lady Bravo sticker. She is also working on a menu planner, a recipe planner, grocery lists. Um, she is working on, um, oh my gosh, a water tracker. Um, I don't even remember what all it is. I mean, she's got, you know, this these lists that Casey's, I'll show you how to print these off in just a second, but you know, these lists that Casey and I are talking about, she has journal after journal after journal and she they're all like color coded and boxes and as she gets one finished it gets filled colored in and filled in you know and whatever and she's got this whole list of ideas of printable downloads printable downloads yeah that she's working on for you all so here's the catch though we have to charge a tiny bit of money for them so we it does it costs money you know to make all of these but you pay for it one time and yes rosie she's working on a weekly meal plan she's working on she's working on grocery lists for let's see a grocery list for trader joe's a grocery list for aldi a grocery list for a national grocery chain printable that you can print that you can print and you can take with you um a let's see meal planner um recipe cards does that sound familiar she's working on a recipe card she's working on um a water tracker um a lot of this i think the way she's making it is so you can either print it on stickers or you can print it and um like and punch holes in it i guess and put it into a notebook i don't know we'll have to wait and see what she has in store but for right now this is what she has so she does have these all of these stickers are already on here and they are available and um, they're available for sale it's 99 cents one time one time so as an example you would go to so if you wanted the or let's say that you're on team blue so if you're on team blue actually let's do team purple because this one wasn't here this morning and i panicked i panicked um and yes my christy with the points with the current points so christy wants to know if the um if it's gonna if the um printable grocery list is going to have the points yes with the current now this isn't going to be you know a 200 item grocery list it's going to be you know like my favorite things like things that i think should be staples you know like from trader joe's or aldi or what or whatever um but it will be the current points so it'll be you know blue green and purple so if ww changes again and i'm not saying they're changing again so nobody panic but if they do change again if it if something about it changes we will have to go back because you know that's anyway whatever so yes this costs money and a lot of time to do this so all you do is you just find what you want you know the printable download that you want and you add it to your cart but the purple stickers were missing earlier and i was like oh my gosh we're gonna have a mutiny and then you just go to your cart once you've added it it's super simple to add it you go to your cart i already had these in there so once you go to your cart um you can go you can update your cart if you go back and add anything but then you just proceed to the checkout and i'm not actually going to check i'm not actually going to check out because then i would be you know purchasing something but i want to show you i'm going to flip you back around and i'm going to show you on my phone what it looks like when you get it so i so i ordered those earlier i did go ahead and order those earlier and i'm hoping that you all can see this um on my phone but you get an email confirmation and yes i know it's backwards but you get an email confirmation once you complete your checkout and it says on here um that it expires never so it says the product says it says um hey kelly just to let or hi kelly just to let you know we've received your order and it is now being processed so i have these downloads i have products the egg lady says bravo sticker sheet and it expires never okay so that means once you pay 99 cents for it you can keep printing it as many times as you want to. Please do me a favor. Pretty, pretty, please do me a favor. Please do not print these for all of your neighbors and cousins and twin sisters and things. Please don't share these with other people. Please don't, you know, please let me. Okay, Jessica, we got a PayPal. Right now, it's just, we're just doing credit cards because I didn't think far enough ahead to set up the PayPal account. So we'll have to work on that next week. So Jessica, here's our first PayPal um, question. I knew it would come up. But anyway, so 
Anyway, please don't share these. They're, I did not go to the trouble of copywriting them. I did not go to the trouble of making them so that you couldn't print them multiple times because, you know, you all are my egglets. If you, if you need to print multiple sheets of Bravo stickers, I want you to have that many Bravo stickers. I want to be giving you so many Bravo stickers that you have to print it more than one time, but please don't share them with other people um, because we, you know, because again, this does cost money to present all this, but so it expires never. So I got one and it has my payment method. <clears throat> and everything but here's the thing because there it's a printable right here you don't have to do it on your phone you can also do it on your computer but look now I have an entire sheet of those stickers so that entire sheet of those stickers I'll show you what that looks like when you print them out you can print them out on plain paper um, or you can print them out on, um, we use online labels. Avery label, Avery has a number that these will work on as well, but this is what it looks like on a sheet of paper. Um, the online labels number is, I think it's C, oh, it's on here somewhere. I think it's CX, mm, let me find it. It's actually on here. Oh, OL. It's OL2088. OL2088. But this is what they look like on a full sheet. So when you download them, you do get a full sheet of them. So you don't have to try and copy and paste them. They are already ready to print. And again, you can print them on plain paper like this, and you can cut them out and use them if you want to. Um, you could use it as you could, honestly, you could probably you could use them as scrapbooking paper if you wanted to. This could be your background for you know, like if you're journaling your um, you know your efforts, you could use them as scrapbooking paper, <clears throat> or you can print them on the sticker paper. So the it's online labels. OL2088. It's a one and a half inch round label. These were templated to go on there so that if you print them off on there, you will have that sticker. But is that not super cute? So they all print out full sheets, ready to go. There's purple. Ready to go, ready for you to use. There's the certified egg lady sticker. Yeah, because I am certified, certifiable. Okay. Okay. Does anybody have any last minute questions. So I know that was a lot of information fast. I talked really, really fast. Um, it was a lot of information fast. So does anybody have any questions? Any questions at all before we get off here because it is 901 and we can, um, I mean, obviously, oh, and there are 30 to a page. That's a good point, Casey. So you're getting 30, you're getting 30 stickers per page, per page. And you don't have to print them, you don't have to print them on stickers. You can cut them out if you want to. Um, or with online labels, I mean, not that you would want this many of them, but if you did with online labels, you can actually use the PDF and you can put it on, put it on there and they'll print them for you. They'll print them for you. So can y'all think of any other questions? Um, I was going to say something. Let me think. If you all see anything that you think that we should change, please, bye, happy Joel and Angie. Um, please let me know. Um, and yes, oh, the Bravo sticker that's on the t-shirt. Yet yeah, Casey needs to work on that. That was another thing I meant to mention though, Melissa. I'm so glad you said that. Everything that we just put on the printables um, will also be available on the t-shirts too. So yeah, so super exciting, super exciting stuff. But all of this just helps us to keep bringing you free things like the chats every Sunday night, free things like the YouTube channel, like the recipes, like the, um, you know, updating all this stuff on the blog, having our group, spending so much time. I mean, it's, Let's see, between me, Casey, and Jessica, we're probably, I don't know, 35, 40 hours a week, you know, and not charging for it. So, yeah, so any of this, I'm not saying go buy stuff just to buy stuff, but it's a great way to help. It's a great way to help us out. Okay, so let us know if you have any questions. Um, let us know if there's anything that you think that we should add. No, we're not going to go back up to 93 or however many categories I had before, whatever. Um, but let us know what you think. Please do comment. Um, we would love to have your feedback. We would love to know what you all think about it. And thank you all who, thank you to everyone who has already said that it is wonderful. And um, yeah, so we've had a really good time and I really have been kind of a pain in the butt. So y'all probably need to send candy or something. Low point, low point candy to Casey and Jessica or coffee because they're actually coffee because they're probably... Yeah, really tired of me. But anyway, I do thank you all for everything. Um, this has been so much fun. This was phase one, and we are working on some more stuff for phase two, but it's been a huge amount of fun. Let me see if I can get Dusty, because it's his birthday today, so we can sing to him real quick. Come here, buddy. Dusty, come here. Oh, he's so sleepy on his birthday. 
Today is Dusty's birthday. I think he's 13. 13. I think he's 13. Come here, buddy. And he's moving like a 13-year-old man. Oh, come on. Oh. So if y'all would like to wish Dusty a happy birthday, this is 13th birthday today, and he's looking at He's looking at he's looking rough but everybody have a great week don't forget to do your homework um when jessica gets this posted it will be blatantly clear what your homework is if you're watching this on youtube please don't forget to watch the next video up here um like and subscribe comment um, share with a friend you all have you all have led four as of today four thousand and two other weight watchers on the youtube journey with us so good job, ladies. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to watch the next video. Um, down here, you can order a spread shirt. Um, let's see. You can watch the next video, subscribe, or you can order one of the spread shirts. But you all have an amazing week. Don't forget to do your homework. Next week, we will finish on um, our WW journey over the last um, six decades. And then the next week we talk about everything Super Bowl. So you all have a great week. I will see you later. Please let us know what you think about the website. Everybody, please go at least go visit it. Just go look at it. That would make me very happy if you would even just go look. Um, so yeah, I love that too. Okay. Y'all have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have a good week.